Hi fans of high quality entertainment. It is time to rank another Beatles album and this time, as promised, Rubber Soul. And uh, I have a little story to tell you for the uh, my, for my least favorite song on the album. So if you don't want to hear the story, just skip ahead about 30 seconds, although it is highly entertaining. And I also want to promote something at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Number 14. Now, I, I call this best to worst, but obviously there's no really worse song on Rubber Soul. I mean, even the worst song is still kind of good. And it is sung by Ringo, What Goes On. And the story I have to tell you is, I get, you know, they had show and tell in school when I was in grade must have been probably grade three. And so what I did for, for show and tell one day, and I was a shy kid, I brought my rubbers, actually it was yesterday and today, it, because the Canadian US versions were different than the rubber sole British version, which I'm reviewing, of course. But anyway, I brought the vinyl record to school and played What Goes On on a record player and I sang along to it. I picked the worst song on, sorry, the my least favorite song on Rubber Soul to sing. What goes on in your heart? What goes on in your mind? You are tearing me apart when you treat me so unkind. What goes on in your mind? I wasn't doing it for comedy. I was being kind of serious, even though I didn't think I was a great singer, so I don't know what I was thinking. But the class clapped. Maybe they were laughing behind my back, just like people are now. Number 13. I think it's most people's probably least favorite song on Rubber Soul. Run for your life. Just, and also knowing that it was just kind of thrown on because they needed one more song to fill up the album and so Run For Your Life was chosen, was recorded. Number 12, now these, there's like five or six songs on the British version of Rubber Soul that I, I'm just not crazy about. They're good songs, but they're far, far from my favorite Beatles songs. And number 12, You Won't See Me, I've just never I like it, but that's it. I don't love it. Imagine me not loving a Beatles song. Number 11. The opening song for Rubber Soul, although, like a lot of uh, people think, the American version of Rubber Soul overall was better than the British version. It opened with I've Just Seen a Face, which is, of course, on Help. It's gets kind of confusing. And I think that's a much better opening song for Rubber Soul than Drive My Car. Drive My Car is good. The vocals, uh, it's the one time that John and Paul's vocals don't really mesh completely. John seems to be singing a bit out of tune or something in spots and missing the tempo or whatever. So yeah, I'm just, it's okay. It's good. What's that? You want me to sing what goes on one more time? Just joking. Number nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Number ten. I almost missed one again. <sighs> Number ten. The word. I never used... I used to just like it. I like it more now than I did when the album came out. Uh, on a scale of ten, I would give it like a seven. So it's pretty good. Number nine, we're starting to get into the really good stuff. Number nine is Michelle. Number eight, uh, when, when I first heard this song, it's like, oh my God, what a great song. And it's one of the few Beatles songs that I don't need to hear, hear that often. I don't get anything new out of it. And it is Nowhere Man, although it's an excellent song. Don't get me wrong. Number seven, I'm looking through you. And once again, I prefer the 
American Rubber Soul because it has a false start to the song and I think it just, I don't know, I just kind of miss it on the British version, but it's a great song. And it's one, uh, one thing that, you know, the Paul is Dead rumor thing, I don't think they looked into this song enough. I'm looking through you, where have you gone, I thought I knew you. The only difference is you're down there, like he's buried. It's just, it would be one of the greatest Paul is Dead rumors. Number six, George was on fire on this album. If I needed someone, superb, love it. Number five, girl, love it. And that's another thing. I, I think uh, It's Only Love, which is on Help, was on the American version of Rubber Soul. And I think it fits in perfectly with the song Girl. And I kind of miss it on the British version. Number four, one of my all-time favorite George Harrison songs, and maybe even Beatles songs. It's way up there. Think for Yourself, that fuzz bass by uh, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison's vocals, and just everything about it I love. Now, number three probably wouldn't be as high up on your list, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments section below. Wait. Oh, I love the song. I love the way John and Paul sing together. And I guess uh, Wait was recorded during the help sessions, but it was, I guess they needed, of course, along with uh, Run For Your Life, they needed another song, so they put Wait on Rubber Soul, and it was a good idea, because it's a great song, one of my favorite Beatles songs, and possibly, I think, one of their most underrated songs. Number two, Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, which might be some people's number one. I love it. And number one, just totally beautiful, In My Life, which I think would be most Beatles fans' number one song also. Either that or Norwegian Wood. So that's it. Uh, I promise not to sing what school, what, what school is on ever again in a video, just when I'm having a shower. And I just wanted to let you know once, one more time, promoting my ASMR channel. Uh, my latest video is, once again, I'm doing a colorblind test, and you will see in the video that I can't see certain numbers in the, in the test because I'm colorblind with red and green, so you might find that interesting. It'll be a link here if I remember to put a link here, and if I don't remember, then just there's a, a link in the description for my ASMR channel, so please check it out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.